Hey guys, how's it going? Um, yep, I'm gonna just show y'all an update on the you know little 15 gallon nano reef. So everything's going pretty good, as you can see, should be looking a little different now. So what we got here, we went ahead and added some pretty easy corals. Uh, this is kind of one of my first times doing salt water. Really, I did this once with a 10 gallon tank and really cheap equipment, and it was honestly a really big failure. Uh, the tank got out of control, like extremely dirty. I had two clownfish in it. I just ended up giving the clownfish back to the pet store and just shutting down the tank. It was so unbearable. Uh, this is also when I was in college, so I was kind of just more of a piece of shit. You know, now with time and, you know, money and everything, I'm able to make projects a lot nicer. So I just wanted to start off easy at least. And I went ahead and added, the, so the first thing I'll show you that I added was this pulsing Xenia. So as you can see, it's doing pretty good. Um, let me see if I can get a good view on it for you guys. So you can see some of it's right here. Uh, I, I had this little piece right up here, but it fell off. Um, it's doing fine though. You know, I'm gonna just let it go ahead and take over this section of the rock. I'll see kind of how it grows in. I am aware, you know, that this stuff does spread like wildfire and it's fine with me. I, I do enjoy it in my tank. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, you can see. It's doing good. Lights came on about an hour ago in the tank. So things are looking good right there. Uh, we went ahead to the our uh, LFS, our local fish store, and I went ahead and copped this, you know, pretty big carpet of GSP. So I got actually an insane deal on this. There was this small tank that they have, you know, with just a bunch of livestock, typically in, like inverts, uh, you know, a few cardinals and whatnot, and they just have a bunch of GSP mats. It's at $5 frags. The pet store was, you know, insanely busy at this moment. And, um, you know, I asked the lady how much for this, you know, really big uh, piece of GSP. And she said $5. So I was like, okay, why not? You know, and they had the stock lights on. It wasn't too open. It wasn't looking too good. But I just saw, you know, a lot of purple, a lot of coral. So I was sure that it would open up, you know. And luckily it did. It looks amazing. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it, honestly. I had GSP in my old tank. It was, um, it was pretty bad. It was a GSP rock. Only maybe one section of it opened up. Like if I had to, you know, show how much of the whole rock opened up, it would probably be about this much, you know. But now we have this entire piece right here amongst the middle. Uh, here's a little top view for you guys. The fluval light is working beautifully. Uh, we can see some diatoms are starting to form on the, uh, on the sand, you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. The tank is still cycling. So far in it, you know, livestock, we got the pulsing Xenia, the GSP, and um, you know, overall, uh, I did get a few hitchhikers on this GSP. Not too mad about it though, not too mad. I got two snails. Um, they're pretty nocturnal, you know, they move around a lot in the night. Let me see if I can find any of them. If you guys can see right here, I'm not sure if it'll show on the camera, but there's a little shell right there you know there's one snail over there there's uh, another one so two snails came with it um i saw a bristle starfish as well which was kind of crazy it was pretty small uh it was attached to the gsp the bottom of it so you know i just went ahead and left it uh you know pretty cool uh, i turned the light on yesterday pretty late at night and i noticed that you know i had something weird moving around in the tank I saw a bristle worm, so I didn't want to go ahead and you know just do everything uh, yesterday night. I don't, I didn't have a net with me, uh, you know, like handy. I didn't have any tweezers or anything, so I went ahead and ordered some forceps, you know, just to kind of get into the tank, be able to work on it much easier. But yeah, so as of right now, you know, got the pulsing zinnia, got the GSP, doing pretty solid. Uh, pulsing zinnia is doing great. Got this about week and a half ago or so. I got this GSP this last Friday, actually, so it's just been, you know, three, four days. Um, she she also threw in this little mat of it for me as well. Uh, you can, we can see it's opened up right here. Uh, right here, it has not quite yet. Uh, you can see, though, that there are little polyps starting to come out, so I'm just going to give it a little bit more time. Uh, we have some on here as well, but I am planning on, you know, kind of... Uh, grooming it back in this area, maybe keeping that little patch right here, but taking off this just because, you know, I don't want it to only be that, um, some future plans for corals. I am planning on getting an anemone. I am planning on getting a pair of clowns within this tank. So I think that would be really dope to see. I'm also planning on getting a rock right here, probably a rock either right here 
or on this side and i'm planning on making it like a little zoa colony so you know overall i'm pretty excited the tank is doing great uh you know excuse the diatoms and everything growing i did a little bit of research into it i'm honestly just gonna let you know let it take its course i'll be doing water changes every week you know uh checking on that i i've heard it's best not to stir your sand best not to you know just keep on doing it but yeah i'm gonna look at it uh one thing i did notice uh if you guys know please please let me know I wanted to see, I've heard of Aptasia being in, on coral. Is this an Aptasia right here? This little pest. So if it is, you know, I'll definitely go ahead and uh, remove it. But I just wasn't too sure. So, you know, I just kind of wanted to see in general. But yeah, guys, I'm really loving this tank. Overall, it's, it's a great joy for me, you know. And uh, yeah, you know, the GSP, I got a great steal on it. I'm very happy. These are beginner corals, you know, very easy to take care of. As long as you have the right equipment, they will grow, honestly. They will grow as long as your water is not too salty, anything like that. Everything, the parameters match, it should be perfectly good to go. So yeah, guys, um, I'll probably be getting a few more things for this tank this week. I'll go ahead and give you guys an update within a week. And yeah, thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.